I'm not gonna lie, buying real estate in California is really competitive right now. According to the California Association of Realtors, median prices in California is at about 570,000 right now, and I'm pretty sure it's more in LA. But the good news is, it's still possible. Having a plan in place with your realtor will definitely give you an edge when looking to buy real estate. Today, I'm gonna share my top five tips in buying real estate, specifically in California. Hi, my name is Carissa, people call me Kissa, and I'm an entrepreneur and blogger based in Los Angeles. My goal is to share my journey as a businesswoman to hopefully help others live their happiest lives. So let's get into it, shall we? Tip number one. First and foremost, create a wish list and categorize those items on things that are extremely important must-haves to things that are kind of important and things that are not so important. For example, how many bedrooms do you wanna have? How many bathrooms do you wanna have? Do you want a pool? Do you want a certain amount of square footage? Do you want a backyard? Do you want a low maintenance backyard? Do you want central air and heat? These are things that you wanna discuss with your realtor to make sure that the most important items on your wish list are knocked off when you're looking at houses with them. Also, know what you want and what you don't want. Some people don't like two-story homes. Some people love two-story homes. Some people want a pool. Some people don't want a pool. Some people don't care. Tip number two, consult with a lender. You would never shop for a car that you couldn't afford, right? More so with a home, it's a bigger investment. Based on your credit score, how much you have for a down payment, your income and your debt, they can accurately pinpoint a price range that you can afford comfortably. Now, one thing I always wanna stress, don't just rely on a mortgage calculator. Those are really good tools to use when trying to figure out or estimate how much your mortgage is gonna be, but don't just use it to see if it's something that you can afford because there are a lot of factors that go into how much you're qualified for. So make sure you discuss it with a lender and they can kind of do a rough estimate for you before you even commit. Then, once you know your price range, you can relay that to your realtor and they can make sure they're only looking within your budget. Tip number three, imagine the possibilities. Some are better than this than others and let me explain what I'm talking about here. Sometimes you can't get past that ugly paint on the wall or the dirty carpet. Once you realize that changing the paint on the wall or replacing the flooring are minimal investments, you have an advantage here. If a property is a bit outdated, that means the price for the home should be a little bit lower and you might have a little bit of wiggle room to negotiate. I always like to say if the house has good bones, sometimes it's worth the investment, especially if it's just a cosmetic fix. Tip number four, you gotta have patience. Especially in today's market, house hunting can get a little bit frustrating. Housing inventory is low in California. That means there are more buyers than there are houses for sale. That in turn means that the process might take a little bit longer than you anticipate to find your home. Now in turn, my strategy as a realtor is to write offers that you're comfortable with, but are also gonna be appealing to sellers. If you're gonna be in a stack of 10 offers for one house, we gotta make sure you stand out somehow. I like to sit down with you and really figure out how you want to be picked out of the crowd, how you wanna stand out in the sea of other buyers. And trust me, if you're patient, the right house will come along but patience goes a long way in this process. Tip number five, anything can happen. In the real estate industry, you just never know. I've seen deals fall apart and come together every day. In the short amount of time I've been doing real estate on my own, I can tell you this, every transaction that I've done is different. You think that it's always gonna be smooth sailing, but something always comes up. As a realtor, our job is to help you navigate through that. As long as you work in partnership and with your realtor, trust me, everything will be fine. Yes, 
I know it might be stressful at times, but just make sure you work with a realtor that you trust, that you can easily communicate with, and will be on your side. You want a realtor that communicates effectively with all parties, not just you. You want them to be able to stay objective so that they can keep you on course, and you want them to be able to find you solutions that are in your best interest. So that's it everybody, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of my content, feel free to check out my blog at blog.cocreativecartel.com and you can follow me on social media to get more behind the scenes on my journey on Twitter and Instagram at JustKissa. Thanks for watching, see you again soon.